name is Teddy Huang. I'm a flutist specializing in historical performance. Thank you so much for joining me in the premiere of my new slideshow featuring the music of Johann Sebastian Bach um, with the Allemande from his partita for solo flute. My idea um, with this music is that it's kind of like a charcoal or a pencil drawing um, with just one instrument playing and the flute is a kind of instrument which can basically produce one tone at a time. The solo flute is given a chance to um, display all the subtle changes in articulation, dynamics, and sound color. With its continuous 16th notes, the allemande may appear at first rather unvarying and perhaps even a bit monotonous, but upon closer studying, one can truly find a whole range of expression um, from subtle nuances to extreme contrasts. And part of the challenge with this piece is about recognizing those differences and then working on how to interpret them musically in a performance. This is very much like working with black and white photography, where one trains and um, where one trains to see and bring out all the subtle nuances um, in grayscale, from the darkest of blacks to the whitest of whites. So while I don't necessarily draw, I decided to experiment with monochrome photography and combine that with my musical concept. Now, this is not the first time um, I've done work like this in combining music and photography together, but I am fairly new to this type of creation. When asked about it, I tend to hesitate to use the term slideshow because I feel like people may think that the focus is mainly on the visual. Um, but for me, my concept is really about the music and the imagery working together and as if they would actually interact with each other. Um, there are many ways in going about doing this, and in this case, um, my musical ideas and concepts were first internalized, and then I sought after the visual material. All images are either in monochrome or have a limited color spectrum. I edit the images in a way that reflects my expression of the music. With mostly landscape photography, the photos also provide a space for the viewer to explore both the sound and the visual world at that given moment. Thus, there are often slow transitions between images or images which span for an extended time. One of the most fascinating aspects for me is working on the transitions between images and how they correlate with the music. What's happening between the notes, how does one phrase flow or morph into the next one, the transformation from one affect to the other are all things that I consider when choosing my images and deciding how to transition between them. The jagged chromatic lines of Bach's writing inspired me to choose my photography of the bizarre mountains of the Dolomites as well as the rugged coastline of Brittany. There are also incredibly tender and ethereal passages in the music which remind me of water or clouds. It is this contrast of form and affect which makes this work so exciting. Some people may recognize the locations, but I tend to avoid famous geographical landmarks as I want to offer the viewer another aspect of reality. The Alman presents many challenges in performing it. You're playing solo on a monophonic instrument. Um, the music is written in this relentless 16th note figure. Um, some notes on the Baroque flute have certain sound limitations, but within all these restrictions, there's a whole world to be discovered and experienced. In monochrome photography, one also perceives the moment in a completely different way um, than in full color. So it's like going on an adventure in a seemingly limited circumstance. Already in my young teenage years, I was intrigued with the Bach Partita. Um, as for me, it seemed like it sounded so archaic and modern at the same time. It is also such a monumental and established work in the flute repertoire, but I think that doesn't mean that it's untouchable. 
So I encourage all flutists to make their own discoveries in the piece and to create their own adventure um, with it. If you want to share your experiences with me, whether you're a musician or photographer, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to either contact me directly or through the Limerick Early Music Festival. Um, if you go on my website, you'll be able to see some of the things I've done so far in combining music and photography. So thank you once again for joining in. Enjoy the rest of the festival and have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.